You know what occurred to me in life? I have this reputation for getting sidetracked when I go to the store. And I was at Walmart trying to do my thing, you know, and I saw these magnets and was like, whoa, hold up, hold up. The other side is a canvas. Are you serious? So obviously I had to get them. I mean, everything falls off of my refrigerator. So why not replace my magnets with I wonder if it'll even stay. Kind of looks cheap on the back. I don't know guys. I have my suspicions. I'm just gonna open them all. <sighs> hey buddy, like we cannot use you unless you come out of this plastic. So please do your girl a favor. Here are the magnets on the back. They look really thin and cheap. So I'm a little skeptical if like this can be held up on my fridge and will it actually hold anything up on my fridge because your girl has some magnetic problems on her fridge right now you know that meme and it's like sprinkling salt it's like i'm gonna sprinkle my magnets <laughs> you know what? i think i want to do springy stuff i'm feeling it i've got a couple colors you know what? i don't lay my colors down in any like order so yeah I guess I'll do the underpainting first, and then we'll just move on to other things after that, right? All right, dink. I'm really excited to get back into painting, by the way. I just feel like I've taken some time off of doing big projects, partially just because like life has been very busy, <laughs> but I think I'm, I'm about ready to delve into some stuff. Okay, underpaintings. Ooh, too dark. Yo, 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 that's not what I envisioned. <laughs> I would love some like gestural floral magnets. One thing I've been doing lately, which has been like really rewarding. Wow, we're gonna get real painty up in here. Paint E with a T, not pain E, because why would you wanna watch something that invokes pain? Inflicts pain, invokes whatever. Yeah, so I've been doing a lot of digital drawings online. Online? No! On <laughs> Procreate. On my iPad. It's been really rewarding and it's nice to just have some art for me that I don't like feel pressured to share with anybody. Our hands are gonna get covered in paint and I don't even care. <laughs> it's all good. Alrighty, let's do some florals. Hello little guy, we're gonna paint you today. I think it'd be cool to just do like little leafy things like this. trying to do all these like little cute arrangements. <laughs> I was studying like bridal bouquets and whatnot. I'm gonna lay down some green right here cause I'm gonna put flowers over that. Okay. Ooh, I feel fancy. I'm doing like four paintings at once. All right, all right. We got this girl. I think like eucalyptus is really pretty. This is some kind of just made up stuff. This is a really fun way to practice like gestural painting because you kind of just block stuff in. Like this, I'll fill the empty spaces with, oh my goodness, it kind of looks like a face. Look at this, look at this. Do you see the face? It's like a profile. Eye, nose, I don't know what that dot would be, and then some distraught mouth and the ear and the hair. Yeah, or is this like a can't relate kind of moment? I don't know. I want to get like really good at painting florals because I love, love, love plants. So this is kind of like a cool way to do it, I guess. This activity really appeals to me because sometimes I feel like I paint really stiffly. So to do like four paintings at once, even though they're babies, I don't know, it really appeals to me and it encourages me to just loosen up a bit and um, hold my brush more loosely don't be afraid of mistakes. If any of you guys struggle with that, I don't know. I would recommend doing a couple paintings at once. This one, I need some like wild leaves flying off. It's a little tight. Yeah, get wild with it. Painting can be fun and gestural. I'ma do this. Yeah, girl. Okay, we have our greens down. I feel like I have so much power right now because I'm painting a lot of things at once. We need some stuff flying off of this canvas. <laughs> I really like when these like giant 
leaves in the background are like, whoop, I'm flying off this canvas, cause I can. This, <laughs> bad joke. This one is supposed to be a little more like dainty. You know, we don't want like huge leaves. We just want like the little round guys. We'll do a couple light pieces, but I think he wants to be like dark and moody. You gotta let one be moody. Let's block in flowers now. I'm excited for this part. Oh my goodness, it's so fun seeing a painting come to life this way. Cause I don't normally paint like with this method, but I enjoy it now. <laughs> I feel like I can very clearly tell their flowers. It's like encouraging me to be like adventurous and add textures and stuff. Oh yeah, girl, we gotta do this. Oh, I need more red. I'm so excited to have magnets that I actually like. <laughs> it's gonna be great. I'm gonna do like some little berry things up in this one. Cause I saw there's some for plant that people put in their bouquets that look like that. And I don't know what it's called, but it was really pretty. So, if you know what that's called, those little pink. They look like berries, but they're not like the Christmas kind. I don't know, some springy one. Have any of you guys ever like painted on these magnet things before? I am so fascinated by them. I think they're really cool. <laughs> Did I tell you my favorite flower? I forget. It's peonies. I also really like stargazer lilies. I just love flowers, guys. Like, it's my favorite thing. All right, we are doing a little bit of the centers of these now. Like that, oh, I like the way that turned out. That brought it to life. really like brown and green together. They got some nice depth. Like, wow, y'all. This is sweet. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with like a bright, creamy white color and make these flowers pop. This is so fun, doing multiple paintings at once. I wanna do this like on a larger scale, but this is going on my refrigerator. Isn't that so cool? This is kind of more consistent with what I would do off of YouTube, I would say, than on. I tend to do a lot of these like florally paintings and more like bigger stuff though. It's just really hard to like film that on YouTube. And like bigger paintings, I would say, are the things that I go to like when I don't want to stress out and I wanna like relieve stress. So I don't really like to film that. <laughs> We're almost done. We painted some magnets. We'll put them to the test in a minute, see if they stick after like they dry and everything. <laughs> oh, you know what? I should touch up those pink flowers again. I just wanna like bring some life into them. There's this one here. Ooh, boy! This one here. This one's kinda cool. The leaves are all pointy. Leaves? Leaves. <laughs> and then there's this one. Yay guys, they're all finished and they look so cute. So while everything was drying, I looked at them and decided, wouldn't they look cool with a gold border? Yes. And we're gonna put them to the test, see if they stick to the fridge. Okay guys, we're testing this at the bottom of my fridge because there's too many wedding invitations up there and I don't want you <laughs> to see addresses. Okay. All right, first part of the test, we're just gonna see if they stick. Ooh, these are really strong. I was afraid they wouldn't because they looked kind of cheap. <laughs> Yay, boom. There's some nice resistance when you pull. All right, I have a thin piece of paper. These are just posted stamps. Testing it. Oh yeah, holds it up. Okay, we have 
a thick piece of cardstock. Hey, nice and snug. Now when we walk by the fridge, like 56 things won't fall down. That's awesome. Alrighty, here's the magnets in all their glory. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can see the brush strokes up close. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.